votes on 8.2. Have you seen that? Yes. Yeah, I posted uh, uh, that one. It, it contains additional examples and also <clears throat> it contains uh, some, some clarification uh, uh, that are not given in the on the slides or properly. I will try to do that for the uh, for further uh, sections of the course. Uh, in addition, I am going to do uh, when we finish this one chapter. I am going to um, uh, to make review. Uh, class or part of class, uh, which, cover, which will cover entire entire material of chapter ten, okay, which we are covering right now. So, corresponding here, we are covering the graph mo models with graph terminology, special types of graph, representing uh, 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 graphs. If you remember, when we uh, we covered relations, I told that the relations can be represented using single graphs and matrices. Now, we are going to learn how to represent the graph uh, using as, as in matrices. And then the graph isomorphism with connectivity, Euler and Hamiltonian uh, graphs. What we did on the previous uh, the class, we started section 10.1. And I asked you, uh, do you want me to go over, over the briefly because uh, not every student, according to the emails, were able uh, to, uh, to be in Zoom class. So I will go briefly over the, over the um, uh, terminology and definitions again. So graph simply, is a pair of sets, V and E. V is a set of all vertices, E the set of all edges. So vertices are also called nodes on this one picture, A, B, C, and D are vertices, edges, also, uh, sometimes it is called arcs, are connecting, uh, are connecting uh, ad vertices. So here, the vertices AB, for example, AC, and etc. So this this graph in particular has four vertices and five uh, edges. This course, uh, of course, uh, we are going to consider only the case when each of these was set, V and E are finite sets. So the cardinality of V and E is less than Aleph zero. Uh, it is it is understandable that either one of them is finite, then the other other set also should be should be finite, right? Unless what degree of the of the edges <laughs> is infinity. Okay, simple graph. The graph in which each edge edge connect two different vertices, no two edges 
are connecting the same same pair of vertices. In the previous uh, the graph, uh, it was an example of simple graph. Uh, uh, but nobody, <coughs> uh, never, uh, we, uh, we cannot consider the case when, uh, when vertices are connected with two different edges or the vertex is connected with itself. In computer science, this kind of, of edges are important in order to check something in the on the particular node of the graph. So correspondingly, a part of simple graphs, there exists not much, uh, so-called multigraphs connecting uh, where uh, where the multiple edges are connecting the same two vertices. In particular, when m different edges are connecting the same two or two vertices u and v, uh, we say that uh, the multiplicity of that edge is m. Um, an edge uh, that connects vertex to itself is called loop. Pseudograph include loops as well as what multiple edges uh, connecting uh, the same same pair of vertices. So here we have an example of pseudograph, which has as both multiple edges and loop. Uh, I told yesterday that there is no standard terminology for the, the graphs uh, theory. And uh, uh, we are uh, different textbooks or different mathematicians are using uh, different terms and expression to denote the same thing. Uh, we are going to follow exact terminology uh, which is given in the textbook, in our Rosen's textbook. Okay, the next definition, directed graph, also called D graph, is G equals VE, uh, which consists of non-empty set V of vertices and uh, uh, set E of directed edges or, or directed arcs. Each edge is associated with an ordered pair of vertices. So when uh, we have uh, we have a directed line segment, obviously it should have it should have initial point and uh, and a terminal point, right? So in this case, uh, the directed edge will be will be denoted as ordered with pair, UV. If I write, if somebody writes ordered pair of nodes, UV, it means the edge which starts at U and ends at V. The graph uh, where the edge endpoints of an edge are not ordered are said to be undirected to the graph. Okay, so correspondingly in in the undirected to the graph, in the undirected to the graph, you 
a comma V will be exactly the same as V comma U, the same age. However, in the case of directed graph, U V is not the same as V U. Okay, simple directed graph should not have loops and should not have, <clears throat> have a multiple edges. So Sorry, uh, the me. graph uh, which we, uh, we have here, a simple directed graph, obviously- sorry, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt you, sir, um, but I don't think I see your pointer. Is your pointer supposed to be on? Oh, I, I, I see his pointer. I, I was like, wait, can I see his pointer? And then, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. okay, now I see it. Okay, thank you. Oh, Sorry about okay. that. <clears throat> uh, when I, 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 use, I use a laptop now. <laughs> I didn't use laptop before. Uh, so sometimes when I, uh, I move, move, uh, move pointer, it jumps to the next slide. Sometimes... So when you you need to see my pointer, but tell me I will I will try to show you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, this one is is what directed simple graph. Okay, simple directed graph or not? This one. Answer is yes. It doesn't have have a multiple loop of the type. B, C. Okay, there is, uh, sorry, there is no edge, two, two different edges, at least of the type B, C, right? So this edge is B, C, and this edge is C, B. They are not the same. Okay, but directed with multigraph may have multiple directed edges. And the example of this is given here. Okay, for example, we have two ACs, right? We have arc starting at A and going to C this way, and another one going this way. Same thing with a BC. So correspondingly in this case, uh, we have A, B, is is an edge of multiplicity one b c and a c are edges of multiplicity two right everybody okay uh, yep. so we did uh, this one also in the class uh, in the zoom class with yesterday uh, uh, so we have CTS and obviously each CT has its own a local network in the United States. The textbook shows, um, shows in the United States. They are the data centers uh, of each city and the They must be connected. And this computer network uh, can be shown as a simple graph. Then edges are, are just an order it with pairs. Okay, for example, uh, there is no, no direct connection between, uh, between the Washington DC and Los Angeles, right? In this graph. 
So correspondingly, uh, there is no edge of the type Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles, uh, Washington. Okay. Same uh, can be be considered as as a multigraph. They may happen that uh, there are two connections between Los Angeles and Denver, for example. Three connections uh, between between Denver and Chicago. Right? It represents it, represents what multigraph. At the same time, as I mentioned, every, every database may have a diagnostic links uh, to check itself. So in that case, we include loops and we get uh, from the multigraph to the graph. Now, on, on the third picture here, we have we have a directed for multigraph. It shows a connection from two nodes with with directions. Okay. Still, there are, now for example, between San Francisco and, and Denver, three connections. The one is San Francisco, Denver. Two others are, oh no, two, two from San Francisco to Denver and one from Denver to San Francisco, right? And between the Denver and Chicago, four connections. Two of them, of them are from Denver to Chicago, and two from Chicago to Denver. So multiplicity of age with Denver, Chicago is what? Two, right? Same, same the multiplicity of age. Uh, Chicago, Denver also two. Okay, the multiplicity of age Edge of San Francisco, Denver is one. The multiplicity of the age. Oh, again, I, I didn't see that arrow properly. So multiplicity of the age of age of Denver, the Denver San Francisco is one. Multiplicity of the age San Francisco, Denver is two. Everybody okay? Wait, sorry, I just have a question. Um, yes. I'm still still a little confused. What does like the multiplicity of the edge mean? A multiplicity of edge means uh, it means that how many edges are connecting particular two nodes? Oh, okay. Okay. If okay, but please note that in the case of this with multigraph. Or in the case of this, uh, in the case of this with multigraph, and in the case of this pseudograph, the multiplicity of age, age of Denver, uh, uh, Chicago is what three, right? Okay, one, two, three, right? Okay. Okay, but in this, in this were directed uh, a multigraph. In total, we have four edges, edges are connecting these two cities. Okay, but since edges now ordered, two of them are connecting Chicago with Denver and the two of them are connecting, I think, Denver with Chicago, right? Okay. So in yeah. this, in this one, the pseudograph, 
uh, uh, multiplicity of age, age of Denver Chicago is three. In this case, a multiplicity of the age of Denver Chicago is two, right? Right, I understand, thank you. Very good. So I want you, uh, we stopped on this slide, uh, so last, last of class, I want you to understand this table from the textbook. It's very important in terms of understanding of terminology of graph theory. It's given in our textbook. Okay. So, other applications of graphs, a social network, right? Uh, now we have a social network of our class, right? We are connected with each other via Zoom. We can speak with each other. We can send emails to each other. At the same time, this one is, is a communication network. At the same time, it is information network. It's surprisingly, I, I don't think that anybody uh, used that in, in the software or design so far. If you have used, uh, uh, I mean that in the class. Uh, 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 the graph theory, uh, when you design a software, it, it would be very good. In software design, uh, the graph is used and it is uh, one of the important applications and it allows not to make any mistakes uh, in the in your, in your code. A transportation network. Uh, for example, uh, so flight would between cities is uh, usually given different magazines, a biological network, how how different species are connected in terms of their food, in terms of their, their, uh, their living styles, etc. It, uh, it is impossible to find area where uh, the graph theory is not applicable. Okay, social network, vertices uh, represents individuals or organizations, edges what represents a relationship between organizations or individuals. So useful uh, graph models of social network include uh, for a friendship graph, <laughs> John and Alice are friends, right? Is it for the same? Alice and John are friends. So there is a saying that we are friends. Uh, uh, um, me. And, uh, uh, and Eileen are friends, especially she is a friend, right? <laughs> it would be something, some kind of joke, right? If we are friends, if two people are friends, it should be, um, it should be in both directions, right? So the friendship ship graph, uh, is representing form of an undirected graph. 
in and two people are connected if and only if the if they are our friends. And that may be as I was explaining in the real world, that may be on Facebook. or in a particular virtual world. A collaboration graph also is an example of undirected graph. But two people, I can either collaborate or not collaborate. If I collaborate with Eileen, all right? It means that Eileen also is collaborating with me, right? It, it would be the same a type of connection. Uh, so correspondingly, this is, is an example of undirected graph. Influence of graph is a directed graph. Okay, some uh, 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 people, uh, 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 people can influence <laughs> others. It is necessarily opposite is or true, right? Uh, even in the case, if I can influence Eileen and Eileen can influence me, there will be two edges. Edges, well, you did. Okay, well, you'll do Eileen, and Eileen, you'll do. They are not the same edges. So, correspondingly, it will be an example of, of directed graph. Or uh, some people <laughs> uh, cannot be influenced by anyone, right? So um, this actually, in, in that case, uh, we, uh, we should have an example of particular case of graph, which is called a tree. We are going to learn that in chapter 11. Uh, so only in one direction, things are right. Okay. Okay, uh, okay here we have, we have a friendship graph where two people are connected if they are a Facebook a book friends, right? We see that uh, we are using, using different edges of connecting uh, uh, people in this in this uh, friendship. Uh, so every person of the friendship is represented as a node of the graph, and their connection showing the influence of the graph. This was the second example. Okay, but Linda, uh, Linda can be influenced by Brian, right? However, Linda cannot influence influence with Brian. Is it possible? No. Okay, consider. Uh, 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 two other persons, so Brian and Fred. A uh, Fred, okay, Fred, I uh, can influence influence with Brian, right? Okay, can yeah, can Brian influence uh, 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 Fred?
Do you see? Yeah, I Not see. Not directly, it. right? Only by mean, he won. So if if the brain would like to influence a friend, then he should influence Yvonne, and the Yvonne, okay, may influence a friend, right? However, on the other parts of this photograph, we see that Linda that cannot influence anybody, right? Okay, poor Linda. However, uh, Brian can influence Linda uh, Yvonne. Okay, who is, is the most influential person in this world graph? I think Brian. Brian? He can uh, actually, influence uh, how many Deborah, people? Deborah. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah is the most influential. And Deborah, right? Yeah, Deborah. And Deborah can influence three people. Three people directly. Okay. okay good representation, right? If you, if you want to promote or something, okay, some project, that people are using this kind of influence with graph in order to get uh, a positive result. It is used in decision making in the real life situation. It means that if I if if somebody is able, we have a network. If somebody is able to influence on the border, he should not, not further work on influencing uh, Linda or Brian or Fred. I don't spend time on this, we just work on the board. Start with the board. After that, you will see that one person, executive member, who is going to make a decision is not influenced by the board, right? Who is who is with that person? That's Yvonne, right? Okay. Look now. If if the Bora influence with Brian and Brian influence says Yvonne, it will be done, right? So you're saying the Bora can influence everyone? Yes, in this one situation. Uh, one thing with direct influence, another one indirect influence. Okay, the Bora has indirect influence to everyone in this in this uh, set of, of of five people. If the five people are making a decision regarding something, okay, just influence the Bora, and it will be done. Hopefully, uh, but people are changing sometimes. Their uh, their influences when they are are not <laughs> losing uh, some confidence. So, yes, please. Um, so, Deborah can um, influence every uh, everyone directly, but Yvonne, right? Um, Deborah uh, can influence everyone but directly, not Yvonne, but he can, uh, she can also also influence Yvonne and directly okay. uh, uh, through the through the Brian, right? Okay. Okay, so the graph uh, can be used in everyday life for very important things uh, to make my entire life Russian. Hollywood graph uh, models the calibration of arc arc 
actors in films, nodes or vertices are given uh, uh, represent actors and edges appears uh, between the two nodes whenever the two actors appeared in the same movie. In section 10.4, we will study uh, this graph. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, Kevin, uh, uh, Kevin Bacon numbers are becoming. Academic collaborations are representing the graphs which are uh, are representing academic people, okay, professors and doctors of science and uh, uh, doctors of philosophy, which are um, uh, are working together. In particular, if two Two academicians have uh, have uh, have written jointly a paper, the academic paper. They are are connected. This will be a directed graph or directed graph. It's obviously undirected graph, right? Usually authors of research paper are written in the alphabetical order. It's unknown who is his major collaborator here. Both of them are collaborating. Are those numbers uh, or connected to this graph, it will be, we will learn that in section 10.4 next week. Okay, okay, web graph. Uh, we have at least uh, so far, you know, Two type of graph, right? In Zoom, uh, in this one class, our uh, link starts with HTTPS. Okay, did you see that? And there exist also links which are just starting with HTTP, right? They are two different, these are two different networks. Okay, when we have HTTPS, it is a secure network. So you should have early authorization to get to that network. Not everyone. I can um, actually in this one, Zoom. I didn't include include what password in this link, but I may include what password and give it to you. Okay, but I think that email is received only by students in this class since it is it is gone via via Moodle. Only student in this enrolled in this class are getting that email. So, so correspondingly, this is. I created a web network here of the type HTTPS. HTTP, everybody can accept. Uh, okay, please note that this again are connected with search engine. Okay, when we we Google in the network. 
and we will not be, we are not able to get all the links we are only getting something which we are eligible to get okay so so uh, for example this cia or other special networks we cannot get any link of cia Uh, a, it is a special type of network. However, a person in that, that would network, they can access all the others. Uh, if you remember <clears throat> on the previous presidential election, uh, Hillary Clinton was accused on the fact that she is using her uh, her her personal emails. I don't remember what um, what server it was even. Instead of using uh, <coughs> uh, State Department's network, State Department networks is a secure networks, and the other people cannot access that network at all. Uh, so, uh, uh, correspondingly, if somebody is using a special server, even it is it is it is named under. For example, I know a lot of people; they create their own own network. Starts with their name. After that, uh, a, a their name is coming after. Uh, the sign at after that email address. Uh, so corresponding to that kind of networks that can be created, but again, it is not uh, um, are not secure. Okay. Now I don't want to go further on this on this one type of the, but you should understand that. Web graph exists and uh, it exists only on the uh, uh, between uh, the different types of networks which are acce accessible by each other. So it in some uh, in, in some cases it may be undirected graph. But in reality, it is, it is a directed graph. Um, but we have, we have, uh, uh, we have a higher hierarchy of, of networks. And the highest level is the most secured networks. And the lower level, uh, the most unsecured networks. Uh, every every person in the highest network I can access all the networks below, but uh, and vice versa is not true. Uh, we are not going to cover uh, section 11.4 because uh, we didn't learn search algorithms, uh, uh, but search engine is a generalization of the search algorithm which is used used by Google, Yahoo, etc. The citation network. I win, uh, uh, we write a paper, academic paper. We have to give reference to some people who have done research in this area before, okay, because Mm, nothing, no academic results is starting at, at zero. We always start from some level of research and continue. And so correspondingly, when we, uh, we write a paper, 
we have uh, to give to give a reference uh, to particular authors, researchers in this field who have already obtained some results in this area. So correspondingly, in this case, uh, if paper cites the second paper as a reference, there is an edge, edge uh, of, from the vertex was representing this paper to the vertex was representing the second, uh, second paper. Uh, uh, as many references paper has, as important it is. Um, a level or the expertise of authors is usually when they hire someone for academic position or other important positions, they use the citation numbers of that person. How many people are referring to, the, to his or the researcher? in their fields, in their research. So correspondingly, it represents a, a directed one graph. Okay, what kind of graph it will be? Okay, tell me. Uh, can you think about that? It does it have a loop? Obviously, it doesn't have a loop. And when I write a paper, I can refer to my previous papers, right? It does it. <clears throat> Is it a directed or undirected graph? Is a directed graph. I can refer to someone papers. In that paper, uh, can be a be reference to my paper. So uh, there may be two edges, edges connecting me to him and him to me. So correspondingly, this will represent uh, represent what directed pseudograph in general. I already mentioned what briefly about transportation graphs. Airports are represented by vertices. Each flight is, is represented by a directed edge, edge from vertex representing uh, the departure airport and the destination airport. So it represents a directed graph. Road networks that can be modeled using, using undirected graph, also the directed uh, graph. If there are two-sided roads, obviously it is uh, the case of a directed graph. It's just connection. Everybody can go from A to B as well as, as from B to A. And directed, uh, directed edges will represent one-way roads. In the city, especially in downtown, we have a lot of streets in which vehicle can move only in one direction. Okay, let's go. To software design, which is disclosed to your fields. Uh, and uh, every little bit <laughs> solid software is consisting of, of modules, right? The modules. Are, are usually 
the uh, doing what different what part of the job and all of these are connected with main what modular. So we have here. Uh, <clears throat> software uh, uh, system which consists of seven of seven modules and in the design of, uh, which is uh, related to web browser and uh, we see that uh, the modular is depending of display, um, is, is depending of the parser, is depending of, of, of the protocol. Okay, well, uh, the protocol is depending on page and network and so on. Writing code, software uh, design applications, second, yes, second place. If I consider simple a code, a the a the zero assigned to a, okay, one assigned to b. A plus one is assigned to C, B, a B plus A assigned to D, a D plus one is assigned to E, and C plus D is assigned to E. For this was simple code, uh, uh, the precedence, uh, the graph, is too complicated. Do you see that if step S1 is not done, right? Then nothing could, cannot be done, right? In order to reach a node S, S was six, S1 should be done, S2 should be done, S3, S4, S, S, S5 is not necessary actually. And do you see that? So, uh, to be able to do S4, okay, for example, we have to assign B plus A to D. Uh, for that, B and A should be, should be valid numbers. In S1, zero is assigned to A. In step, uh, in S2, okay, zero, uh, one assigned to B. Only after that, I can assign A plus, uh, B plus A to D. Otherwise, it will not be a valid result. Okay, as I mentioned, this is the last example of this section with biological application and graph models are extensively used <coughs> in biological science. Uh, we will do describe here uh, one such model. In, in each in each overlap, a lot of graph model competitions between species in ecosystem. Vertices are representing species. Edges uh, connect two species when they represent 
species who are competing for food resources. Okay. In this case, the mouse and, and hawks are not competing think directly, right? However, aracuns and hawks are competing thing directly. However, uh, we can see that uh, and half and mouses are competing indirectly through the other species. Uh, okay, for example, it is considered forest ecosystem with nine species, and the biologists are using these kind of graphs. Uh, widely in order to um, uh, uh, when uh, so when mathematicians and biologists are working together and they start with this graph and they create together this, this graph after that they write a model of that uh, a mathematical model uh, that would describes the behavior of this ecosystem gender. Okay, any questions? I finished all this one section. Uh, okay, interaction uh, blog. You may read this this yourself. How um, Reno Cochlein acids in the human and the cells are acting with each other. Okay. If no questions, I will start with chapter uh, section 10.1. No questions? Okay. I will stop sharing this one. I will post, I already posted this one to the website. In the graph terminology and special type of graph. Uh, okay, definition one. The two vertices U and V in and a directed uh, uh, graph G are called adjacent, but also called the neighbors in in G capital, if, if there is an edge E, E between U and V. So edge E is called incident with vertices U and V. Also, uh, E said to be um, is is said to connect U and V. Two different expressions are used Sorry. in this Excuse case. Excuse me. Yes. Are you going to post 10.2? Yes. Yes, I am going. Okay, thank I, you. I am going to post 10.2. Uh, so hopefully, I, am, I want to finish today 10.2. Uh, this is already real, uh, somewhat mathematical 
uh, uh, background in wolves. So, the second definition, the set of all neighbors of vertex B of the graph G is denoted as N V. And this set and V is called is called the neighborhood of V. If A is a subset of V, then we uh, uh, we use a notation N of capital A for the set of all vertices in G that are adjacent to at least one vertex in A. Okay, so we introduce for every vertex a neighborhood. And then we can consider set of vertices in that graph, not all, all of the vertices, but subset of the set V capital. And then the, the neighborhood of A are simply the union of all N V's where V is, is a vertex in A. Everybody okay with this definition? Well, we introduce a neighborhood of one vertex and we introduce the neighborhood of the subset of the graph. Um, uh, second one is a generalization of the, of the first one. And now degree of a vertex in in uh, undirected with graph is the number of edges incident with it, except that a loop at that vertex will contribute to, to the degree of that vertex. It will be denoted as dg of v. Okay, uh, degree of a vertex of A uh, of the undirected with graph, simply a number of edges, which are, uh, uh, with which it connected with other, other vertices of the graph. If that vertex has a loop, and then that loop is going to, to contribute to, uh, to the degree of the vertex V twice. Okay, well, consider uh, uh, this two graph. First one is a simple graph A, G, and the second one is pseudograph. Right? Your degree of A is 2, right? Okay, because neighborhood of A is B and F. Do you see that? And A is given here. A, A has a neighborhood, a B and F, right? So degree of the vertex A is two. The degree of B 
equals to the degree of C equals to the degree of F equals to four. Right? Why, why degree of F equals to four? It is connected with four other vertices, A, B, C, and E. And we see that the neighborhood of B is A, B, C, D exactly. Right? Okay, degree of D is what? The neighborhood of D is what? Is C, it is given here. And finally, the, the degree of E is what three, since the neighborhood of E is B, C, F. Okay, but please note that at the graph, G has also, also node G. We see that it is not connected to his any other node. Correspondingly, degree of G is zero. In H, the degree of A is four. Right? Uh, yeah, please note that there are two edges, edges connecting A and E. Okay, but please note that neighborhood of A has three elements. However, degree of A is four, right? Okay, degree of B equals to the degree of E equal to six. Okay, why it is why degree of of B equals to six? It is connected with A. Uh, C, D, and E, right? And also itself. Also itself, right? It has a loop, right? There. So correspondingly, it's for degree six. And please note that itself, <laughs> that the connection is itself uh, contributes to the degree of B twice. Okay, uh, okay, degree of C Sorry. is one. Sorry, can you explain uh, what's the sixth one? Because it's like A, yeah. B, C, E, and D, that's five. Uh, what's the uh, sixth one? Okay, as a loop, right? Yeah. In the definition, we told that a loop at the vertex contributes to to the degree of oh. that vertex. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Thank you. Yes. Good. So degree of D is five. It is clear, right? And because in, 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 in the neighborhood of D is A, B, and E, but E is a neighbor of D by three edges. 
right? Okay. Um, uh, Is this a small so, question? Um, if you have arrows, would this, would this make a difference to the degree? Um, uh, so far, yes, of course, it, it will make a difference. For the degree so far, uh, we are considering only undirected graphs. Okay. okay. In the case of directed graph, things are different. Okay, thanks. Okay, so now the theorem for undirected graph. It was uh, one of the first theorems in graph theory. If G is a directed graph with M edges, then 2M equals some of the degrees of all vertices. You try to understand first this theorem if you sketch uh, a particular road graph, a simple graph connecting uh, just four, four vertices, you will see that this theorem is not true. Some of the degrees of all vertices in the graph should be equal to times number of edges. Why it is true? Because each edge is contributing uh, to degree of both vertices, right? If there exists edge, edge connecting A and B, it contributes uh, to the degree of the vertex A, A by one, and uh, it contributes to the degree of the vertex AB by one. Right? Uh, why it is called handshaking theorem? Uh, uh, you may think about about the graph where vertices represent the, the people at a party, and uh, an edge what connects two people who have and have shaken hands, <laughs> or they touch elbow during. Uh, 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 coronavirus <laughs> If two people shake hands, right? Okay, by the way, if all the people in the party sh shake hands, what will be total number of of handshakes? I remember I talked about that in the class. I will give you an answer. And do I want to answer? Yes, please. Okay, 10 people in the... Uh, so 10 people can in you the repeat party, the question? and all of them shaking hands uh, okay between each other four okay how many handshakes will be there <clears throat> like i don't know so each person would shake hands like Nighttime. With every other person. 
the total number of handshakes? I don't know. I I think 90. 36. How many? 36. How did you how did you get 36? How did you get 36? Yes. It's incorrect. 72, I mean. 9 into 8. Say again, please. It will be n into Same. 9 minus 1. N and minus 1. N minus n n multiplied by n, n minus, minus one, one. So uh, seventy two divided by two. No, not divided by two. That's it. Okay. Um, in that case, you are considering the case of directed ground. Uh, a one handshake is counted twice for each person. Uh, yeah. But we we should count handshake. Of two people as one handshake. Okay, okay. So this 36. one is undirected count. Right? Yeah. So it will be 45 and it should be divided by two. Okay, how to solve this problem actually is very simple. Take one person uh, and uh, let him handshake with. All the others, all right. One person will will shake hand with all others n one n n minus one, right? N minus one handshakes, right? And then um, I take that person out. I, I, I take the second person. It will be in in the set of n minus one persons, right? Let him have have handshake with all the others n minus two people. Okay, there will be n minus two handshakes, right? N minus one subtract one, right? Yeah. And then uh, I consider the remaining n minus two, and so on. It will be the sum of the elements n minus one and n minus two and so forth and one. At the end, two, the last one persons will be. So it will be the sum of the first n minus one positive integers, right? So corresponding that will be n times n minus one divided by two in general case. In this particular case, will give us as 45. So correspondingly, if we have a graph with n vertices, right? And all the, all the vertices are connected with each other by only one, Edge, there will be uh, that number of edges. Okay, but handshaking theorem is not is not talking about that that all the all the vertices are connected. It says that if there are M edges, if there are M handshakes, exactly, right? And then degrees, some of the degrees of all, all vertices equals to M. Would everyone uh, handshake? in the party, all right? And then all the vertices are connected. There will be n minus one times n divided by two edges. 
and the n minus one times n will be equal to the sum of the degrees of all the vertices. Okay. Any questions about this with here? Yeah, you have to do uh, this with uh, with different examples of different things. Okay, uh, okay Janus, what? Ask your question, please. Okay, somebody raised hand. It was it was occasional. Okay, so I probably uh, it was I put <coughs> uh, clicked something without understanding. I am learning now Zoom, and you are learning Zoom. Uh, so we will get back. Uh, we will get a much better, hopefully next week. Okay, let's uh, consider two more examples illustrating the usefulness of the handshaking theorem. How many edges are there in the graph with 10 vertices? If uh, with with ten vertices of degree six, each vertex has has a degree of six. And because the sum of the degrees equals six times ten, right? will be 60. The handshaking theorem will tell us that there are 2m equals 60, right? So the number of edges should be equal to 30, right? That makes complete sense, yeah. Yes. Okay, good, Alex. If the graph has five, five vertices, uh, can each vertex have a degree of three? Answer is no. And the explanation is very simple. It follows directly from the handshaking theory. Five, uh, 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 five vertices, each of degree three. It will be, it will give us right hand side of the handshaking theorem equals to what? A fifteen, right? Uh, uh, can you solve the question? Two m equals fifteen where m is integer? No, because no, it's not right? decimal it's value. To... Yes, it should be. Uh, so handshaking theorem tells us immediately that this is impossible. OK, can I go to the next slide? Yeah. OK. The theorem 2, an indirected uh, graph has an even number of vertices of odd degree. This is statement. It follows directly from the, uh, the handshaking theorem. It should have every undirected dot graph should have even number of vertices 
of odd degree. A, a proof uh, uh, can be done by contradiction. Okay, let V1 be uh, be the vertices of even degree and V2 be the vertices of odd degree in an undirected graph G with M vert edges. Then even number 2M should be equal uh, to the sum of degrees of all these, right? According to the handshaking theory. And this should be equal to the sum of degrees of V, where V is element of subgraph V1. Add sum of degrees of the elements V in V2. Okay. V1. Oops. V1 are the vertices of even degree. And this number is, is even number. This number is even number. This number also even number, right? Some of the even numbers always even number, right? Then this must be even, even, right? <laughs> yeah, but because this is the sum of degrees of all vertices of all degree, right? In the graph, there must be an even number of such vertices. Okay, otherwise, odd number, multi odd integer multiplied by odd integer will give us odd integer, right? Everybody okay? Okay, one more time. The uh, 2M is always even, right? For every every positive integer M. As per handshaking theorem, it is equals to this sum. This sum can be written as a sum of two of two sums. Uh, they are not intersecting, right? V1 and V2 is a partition of the set V into two subsets, right? Their intersection is empty. Okay, by inclusion exclusion theory, some um, of the elements in V, a uh, number of elements in V equals uh, to the number of elements in V1 add a number of elements in V2, right? Then V1 uh, consists of all vertices of, e of even degree. I add any number, any finite number of even numbers, always will get even number, right? Look at the third one, this guy. V2, this is all the vertices of all degrees, right? We are adding uh, odd integers, right? It must be even number. Okay, Amy and Bert, I wanted to say something. Okay.
I am listening. Just tell. Uh, turn on your mic and uh, ask your question. Okay. <laughs> Again, it was a mistake. Okay, everybody okay with this? With uh, this with Ethereum? Ethereum 2? Yeah. <laughs> Sir, I just have a question about the test, if it's going to happen. What is it going to cover? Is it going to cover the lecture for this week's? No. It will cover everything up to 8.2. 8. 8. 2. 8. 2. From 2.4? 8.2. Section 8.2. No, I mean like 2. from 2.4 to 8.2. 2.4 okay, 8. okay. 8. 2. 2. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay, can you tell me what time it is now? It is the uh, end of the lecture. One or four. Sir. Yeah. Four minutes. Four minutes left? No, no four, four minutes, minutes after over. one. Four minutes after one? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Then uh, the case of directed for graph, I will continue on the next class. If you have any question, I have to start another meeting on the... On the uh, so I will start. Uh, I will post this uh, to the course web page uh, tomorrow morning again. So please read all of these, and in that case, um, we will go faster. Hi, sir. Okay. Are you? Uh, do you yes, have qu any questions? Yes, sir. Um, I was wondering, uh, is there any updates on the test too? Like, when will it be? Covered right now. Any what? Uh, when will the test two taking place? Okay, I will tell you that uh, uh, tomorrow. I I expect I am planning to have it next Thursday. I am planning, but mm, hope my plan will be realistic. I expect to have it on Thursday, next Thursday. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. No, no more questions. No, I, I have a question. Okay, good. Like, how yes. is knowing uh, these theorems going to help us in computer programming? This, uh, if you use in computer programming, uh, uh, the graph as an application and mostly it is it would be it would be directed with graph and then you will use with this with here in that related to graph uh, to the graphs so in order to learn what directed to graph first we have to understand and and directed graphs Okay. okay. Any other questions? Uh, sorry, I have to start another Zoom meeting. Um, 